hold on, some huge news on the grid here. Welcome back everyone to some more F124 driver career mode. We are heading into a new season. Season 2 is upon us and we have this contract event thing happening now. We'll see which team we sign for as we head into a new season. Contract performance review came through as well, which we will take a look at in a moment. And yeah, in the last season we finished P8 in the driver standings. In the finale we beat Lance Stroll to go ahead by 4 points in total in the the driver standings couldn't make it to Sergio Perez but Lance Stroll was beaten and then in the constructors we secured a P6 as Haas uh, so yeah it was overall a good season first half was a struggle and then it started to go uphill in the second half so we'll keep going we will see who we sign for though and we head into a new season if you guys are enjoying the series of course make sure you smash that like button and subscribe using the red button down below really do appreciate the support okay so there are four teams interested in us it is Alpine Haas Mercedes um, and Ferrari wow some big team names up here Red Bull don't want me Aston Martin McLaren RB Williams and Kick Sauber these guys are not interested Ooh, this is interesting I could stay with Haas I could move up to Mercedes which is a slightly better team right now in the performance chart and then Ferrari which is just ahead as well Oh, this is interesting. Very interesting indeed. Um, but I saw an overwhelming number of people say I should sign for Mercedes. Considering we also had the uh, secret meetings with the William, uh, not the Williams, the Mercedes team. Um, so yeah, we will sign for Mercedes, I guess. We will go to them and sign. <laughs> All right, so we've got new performance. I could go up to 92, apparently. Wow. Uh, Mercedes adjust the options to create a new contract. Um, I mean, over the course of the past season, I went up how many ratings? I don't know. Um, we could go for two seasons. Oh, we could sign a two-season contract here, which would increase our bonus for reputation or recognition. Mm, recommended is 87. I think I might try to push for 89. Uh, and since we have the option, let's try a two-season contract and see what happens. We've never done that before in the game. It was never an option. So we will see what happens if we sign a two-year contract. Here we go. Signing for Mercedes. All right, so let's see out this season then. We are still with Haas, but I want to see if I can make these guys a little stronger. Maybe Haas can become the uh, guys who do well in the regulation changes. So let me get the spark plugs protected and the fuel flow regulator. Um, I have 17 points. I don't think I can save anything else. So durability-wise, Haas is going to struggle a little, but... I did protect their powertrain to the utmost extent. So let's head on and see if these resources that come on the 16th is enough for me to trigger something else here in the R&D. I have 94 points. Uh, I don't think anything in durability was worth 94 or below. Yeah, unfortunately, nothing is there. But let's finish the season and see what happens in the new one. Hold on, this is new. R&D scenarios. Put a twist on the usual rules of the R&D system. Only one R&D scenario can be active as a, a, as a time. English. Only one R&D scenario can be active at a time. Come on, Codemasters. They can only be activated between seasons but deactivated at any time. High inflation. Upgrades will become more expensive the more you develop. Okay, inflation is hitting not only real life but in-game. Guys, like seriously, I'm here to escape reality, but the reality is is, uh, is chasing me. Powertrain only. Only powertrain upgrade components can be purchased. All other departments will have their fitted upgrades removed. Whoa, that's a challenge and a half. Only aerodynamic upgrade um, components can be purchased. Okay, chassis only can be purchased and durability only. Oh, wow. This is putting a twist to the tail here. Um, 
chip shortage. Only one upgrade can be purchased each calendar month. Wow, there. this is new. This is huge. Okay. Well, I'm going to do high inflation as a start. We can do these when we get to later seasons and we want to try. But high inflation might be something to look into. Considering it might be like a real life thing. Teams may be affected by high inflation right now. So high inflation. Confirm. Hold on, some huge news on the grid here. Hold on a second. So I moved to Mercedes with this contract. Russell went to Ferrari to replace Sainz. Sainz went to Haas to replace me. And then Tsunoda just disappeared. Tsunoda's out of contract. And Teo Pusher has overtaken Tsunoda in the RB seat. This is wild indeed. I did not expect that to happen. Hold on. Driver rating comparison here. Let's see what happened. To Yuki Tsunoda, he's a free agent with 81 rated. Magnussen as well, still free agent after I replaced him in the Haas seat. And Sainz is in that seat instead. Oliver Behrman, still no contract. And Pusher instead gets that RB contract. Wow, that is not what I expected. I expected Tsunoda to at least retain his seat. But no, RB decided that Teo Pusher is better than Tsunoda. 10 rating below, of course. Tsunoda 81 Push share 871. So this is quite quite interesting indeed. Sergeant maintains a seat at Williams as well. Wow. Change of events, but you gotta love seeing the new Mercedes suit on us. Toto Wolf with the season objectives. We are confident that the car can be competitive from the start of the season, so we expect you to be racing near the front of the field. Okay, so let's do take a look at our R&D here. And yes, in fact, we are in the top end of the midfield. So we got Aston Martin, who are, are some ways ahead, Red Bull behind. And then McLaren and Mercedes are very close with Haas also right behind. So we didn't change much with move with a move from Haas to Mercedes. Just a little better performance. Uh, but yeah, we do have 192 points. Oh my god. 2,200 for an engine cover. 2,200 for tire. And yo, this inflation is insane. 2,350. Yo, we're going to be broke after one of these upgrades. Seriously. My gosh, 192. I can do absolutely nothing. We're not going to be able to bring in upgrades that easy. 1,400. You're joking. I'm never going to get R&D points in time. Maybe it'll be by the end of the season that we can actually trigger something. Uh, let's take a look at our... Um Look at our uh, specialist here. We'll do that for our manufacturer. Stress test anything over 32%. Complete six laps and practice sessions. That is fine. I can do that. Practice complete a lap using two sets of tires or coast for 30 seconds. That I can do. We'll do a lot of lift and coast in Bahrain anyway. Eight championship points seems possible considering our car is pretty strong. Bruh, I only get 70 something R&D points a week. This is a problem. A major, major, major problem. Um, I don't think we're ever going to get any upgrades at this point. Oh no, this is bad. All right, anyway, let's head to Bahrain. Let's have a good start of the season, hopefully, and let's score some points for Mercedes. Well, as the sun goes down, the speeds go up. It's almost time to get underway for this shootout for the fastest time and the best possible grid position for tomorrow's race. Let's get on with it. It's qualifying for the Bahrain Grand Prix. Despite the old helmet from the Haas times, I think it still fits in this one because of the Ineos and the gray of the Mercedes. But hey, let me know if you want me to change it. But welcome to the season opener, Bahrain. And we are here for qualifying. So let me set a lap time out there and see how competitive we really are. Feeling good around this track. After the patch, I think Bahrain's become better. Or it might be just that the setups have improved a lot since the new update. I'm using... 
Barry Boromont uh, set up from Time Trial. Thank you very much. And let's see okay, if we are ready? competitive in the Mercedes. All right, here we go. First lap, P9. Ooh, that's harsh. I think it's because of the heavy fuel load that I've been dragged back a bit. So I'm going to burn off a bit of this fuel, recharge, and then go again. Okay, we are improving. We are improving. Three tenths or so. That's still P9. Ahead of Pettas, though. 48 thousandths behind Russell. All right. Quite fascinating indeed, but I think that should be enough to get us through. All right, so we dropped down one more position to P10 after those two laps. Uh, Sergeant Bottas, Pocher, Joe, and Ricardo knocked out. Come on, where do we sit? P8 on the use set of softs. Oh dear. Okay, we gotta go on fresh set, low fuel. Let's do that. Here we go then. Last lap, we do improve. Now, does that bring us up into Q3? Yes, it does. P6. Good to see. Nice. Ahead of my teammate, P6, but Lewis Hamilton did not do any laps at the last stages of the uh, session. Albon, Hülkenberg, Ocon, Gasly, and Perez are out. All right, slight improvement here. Let's see how high up the grid we can go with that lap. P8, not bad. I want to see where my teammate is though. I feel like it could have gotten better. In our first outing in the Mercedes, um, yeah, we're off by five tenths, maybe even six tenths, almost six tenths actually. Oof, that is bad. But race day is a completely different story with Alonso at top of the grid with Lewis Hamilton beating Lance Stroll. And uh, I beat Perez um, and Max Verstappen at the top three. Well, let's head into the race itself. Let's see how the Grand Prix goes. Months of rumor and speculation all come to an end today as we return to racing for the opening event of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. There's no shortage of passing opportunities around the 3.36 miles of the Bahrain International Circuit, with the best, of course, at turn one, and then another soon after into turn four. 15 corners here, six to the left and nine to the right, and we could see one or two flat spots into that tight left-hander of turn 10. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. An immense lap from Fernando Alonso yesterday puts him on pole position. And it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Hamilton, Stroll, Norris, Russell, the rookie, Oscar Piastri, Sainz, Perez, Gasly, Ocon, Hulkenberg, Albon, Ricardo, Joe, Theo Porsche, Bottas, and Logan Sargent. Now it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. First race in Bahrain and first race of the season and first race in a Mercedes. So let's see how that goes. Medium tires to hards is a recommended strategy. Those mediums are dying off immediately though. Don't know if that's worth it. Um, can we potentially do two medium stints? Oh my gosh, what is that? Um, what if we do this? Would this be any better? I mean, it's 10 second difference. Ugh, okay. We will revert. We'll just do the recommended strat here. 11 lamps on the mediums and then rest on hards. Um, don't like how the tire will die off in 11 lamps, but it is what it is, I guess. All right, let's jump into it and start this race. All right, let's launch this season and the first race, Bahrain Lights Out. 
No hesitation there, and my gosh, was that a horrible launch. Where was the car's acceleration made? I was holding a nice RPM. All right, I'm going to give that position back. Squeezed out. P9. Around the outside of Piastri. Come on. We need to stay in trains. That's the one thing we learned from season one. DRS trains are very OP. DRS will be enabled after this lap, of course. So we want to stay as close to the front pack as possible. Russell. I stole his seat. He went to the Ferrari. Piastri wants a piece of this. Okay. Oh my gosh, they're deploying down the straight. Okay, Piastri going around the outside or attempting to. Let's go, let's push DRS and ERS around here. Dirty ears not being kind. Definitely dirty airs not being kind. Oh no, Piashi's going for it. Piashi's going for it. Don't merge in front of me. Don't merge in front of me. Wow, the AI does have a lot of pace, man. I think I might have to let Piashi through. Oh, there's a mistake in front. Someone's locked up. Looks like Norris. May have been Norris. I don't know if it is Norris. Oh, nearly spun the car. That was nearly bad. Okay, I'm gonna lose DRS here. Okay, I'm most definitely gonna lose that to Pe uh, Piastri here. Excuse me. Go, Piastri, go. Gonna use his slipstream. Gonna fall back a couple positions. My gosh, the AI is pretty quick. Losing three positions down the straight. That DRS is super OP. And there's a soft tire runners of uh, Piastri and Perez involved. Oh my god, my finger slipped. My finger slipped off the stick. Oh gosh, who can be behind? Sorry, Perez. I'm terribly sorry. Go, go. I'm gonna return that position. My gosh. I panicked. And the brakes don't work as well. It's been very wishy-washy. Towards the end of season one as well, the brakes don't work in some corners and they do in others. It's a little inconsistent. Maybe it's my controller. I don't know. Okay, we cannot lose sight of Pettis, Sainz, and Piastri. Come on. We need their DRS. Like, why did the brakes work so much there? I don't understand. Like, the brakes don't work on other corners, and all of a sudden there, I got so much braking. Alright, I lost DRS again. This is ridiculous. Alright, who can bail? Now it's my turn to chase with you, mate. <laughs> We're falling down the order. What's going on? Okay, mate. We're going through fuel quicker than we need to, so please let's ease off and make 
Make it last. Oh, Hülkenberg, engine failure, engine failure. And signs, mistake. My gosh, chaos in two corners. Okay, clear. Someone had an issue is there as well. Someone's locked up into turn nine. Okay, this brings us back together. Okay, this is fascinating. The mistakes by the AI bringing the group back together. It's like a reunion. All right, signs. Drag me along, buddy. Wow, their ERS strength is insane down the straight. What's going on here? All right, defense into attack there. Side by side with signs. Made the moose stick. Up to P10 again. Climbing back. This is getting exciting again. I was losing a lot of straight line speed and then all of a sudden we're back. I'm at 131. Oh my god, I turned off my <laughs> DRS there. That was a scary moment. Or maybe I never deployed it to begin with. My finger slipped. All right, let's drain the battery because we have to. Look at the straight line speed these guys have. All right, signs. Let's bat. Let's dance. I've neutraled. I've neutraled. You saw nothing. We're nearing the pit window, by the way. Peel, uh, lap 11 is when we will pit. Okay, there goes signs again. Let's trail signs. He's probably going to catch. Pet is ahead because AI is a lot better at gripping the ground. And also, tire temps don't affect them. And engine temperature, I think. Engine temperature also doesn't affect these guys. I'm gonna charge my battery. We need to, that's the thing. Hold on, yellow flag, yellow flag up ahead. Someone's had an engine failure. It's Perez. Pettis with an engine failure. Is that going to bring out a safety car? No, I don't think so. Just notifies us that he's out. Green flag. Okay, we got a lap, two laps to go until we pit. Oh, I failed the objective. Joke. Absolute joke. Alright, I'm gonna trail signs here. Okay, Hamilton is getting the undercut on me. They're pitting. Okay, a good chunk of people are pitting. He's got priority ahead of me. I mean, it makes sense since he was loyal to the team. 
Expecting everyone to pit here. Alright, hard tires on. Boom. Let's go. Let's see. 2.5. Okay. Did we hold up anyone? Not really. Maybe the Haas got held up by us. Yep, a little bit. We overtook signs in the pits though. That is a good sign. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Okay, Leclerc. We've maintained position. Ah, signs gets DRS, really? Cold tires right now. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm gonna have to use signs as help here. Gonna let signs through and hopefully he can let us. What is he doing? He can assist us. Okay, keep an eye on that gap ahead, please. Two point five seconds. Whoa, look at the speed of Albon. Guy's a bullet train. I swear the AI has infinite battery. Super aggressive defense there from Albon. Nice work. You smashed it. Really good job. Okay, Watch we saved the battery. But we're 3.3 seconds behind Leclerc. Sugar. Driver in front. Leclerc is ahead of you. Okay, here's the gap that we're trading the car ahead by. 3.0 seconds. Okay, they're on old hard tires. Their tires are six laps old. The car ahead has damaged the front wing, but it seems fairly minor. Your last lap time, 1.30.8. Okay, so you're gaining by one tenth a lap. Seems like more than a tenth of a lap, dude. Leclerc is struggling up ahead. Front wing damage. We could get him. I need the help of signs though. Let's pull away from Albon, please. We're cutting it down with every corner. We could potentially get a couple more points here. Okay, I gotta let Science through, I think. He's gonna have DRS and he's gonna deploy that ERS. You know what, let me get out of your way. Sorry, that was a bit almost late, but there you go. Okay, mate. Leclerc is not holding us up. He's having problems with his car and we caught up because of it, mate. He's not holding us up at all. If anything, we're holding signs up. We've got a race. Catching up to Leclerc, catching up to Leclerc. I got two laps to make this move. We'll do it in the next lap. I want to charge on my battery first. Unless I can just do it at some point. It's looking good for now. Down the straight, I think. Down the start finish straight might be the place to do it. Come on. Okay, engine temps are fine. What the heck was that? Unbelievable. 
Alright, we gotta dump the battery. Objective complete. Nice buffer to have, Leclerc. Defend like a lion. I'll appreciate it. Yes. Okay, Gazzy's made a pass, Leclerc. He gets ahead of me. Now we're gonna use Gasly, hopefully, for DRS and try to pull away from Leclerc and company behind us. And then maybe we'll overtake Gazi for P8, hopefully. As long as the car decides to drive on track instead of skidding out every two seconds. Saved up some battery for this last lap. Alright Gasly, let's dance. P8. Couple more laps and I think we could have gone Gasly, or sorry, not Gasly, Russell and Piastri. Okay, we gotta waste the battery a bit here. It's a straight line. Russell and Piastri up ahead. Too far, out of reach for us. Considering it's our first outing in the Mercedes, not bad, but I feel like we could have gotten more out of this race. But it is what it is. Yeah, these kind of moments. Those kind of moments where the car just left under us. That's what cost us a lot today. There's instability in the car a little. Okay, Gasly making a final lunge here, I think. Defending his sideline. And there we go, dump the battery. And we should secure P8 for four points for Mercedes. Not bad, but not good either. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in part Fermi. Hey, not bad of a start of the season. Um, yeah, I was what four, uh, nine or eighteen, eighteen seconds off the pace of my teammate Lewis Hamilton, who scored P four. Verstappen again, top of the step of the podium was Stroll and Alonso on the podium. Hamilton P four with Norris, Russell, Piastri, myself, Gasly, and Signs in the points. Nice, Signs is keeping up the Haas dominance here in the points. Leclerc, Ricardo, Albon, Porsche, Sergeant Joe, Ocon, Bottas, round out the finishers with Pettis and Hülkenberg not finishing today's race so standing should not change since this is the first race of the season but the constructors we are p3 with 16 points tied with mclaren and some ways away from red bull and aston martin lead as two drivers make it onto the podium max verstappen carrying red bull right now as pettis suffers a dnf today but yes yeah, solid start to the season we can only go up from here hopefully um but the oh the rnd is going to be a shame and very stressful situation because it's so expensive it's like 2000 points for each and we only gain a couple tens of points each weekend so we'll have to stack 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 and stack points to see if we can beat the inflation but anyway that is all guys hope you guys enjoyed the season opener season two is officially here if you enjoyed today's video make sure you smash that like button subscribe using the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as i upload next thank you guys so much for support take care and i'll see you guys for a new video tomorrow